As we know, the effects of climate change are increasing. There is a need to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. But the latest climate science report suggests that planting trees and switching to electric vehicles won't be enough to keep the temperatures rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Direct air capture is technology that uses chemical reactions to pull carbon dioxide out of air. Once carbon dioxide is captured from the atmosphere, heat is typically applied to release it from the solvent or sorbent. Doing so regenerates the solvent or sorbent for another capture cycle. The process starts with an air contractor where a giant fan pulls air into the structure and air passes over thin plastic surfaces that have potassium hydroxide solution flowing over them. The CO2 contained in this carbonate solution is then put through a series of chemical processes to increase its concentration, purify and compress it. Some of the key features of direct air capture includes freedom of location, closed chemical loop and flexible energy resources. Carbon dioxide which is stored by direct air capture can be used to generate fuels. Geological storage is the process of injecting and storing carbon dioxide deep underground in geological reservoirs. Carbon sequestration has been used safely and effectively by industries for decades with more than 200 million tons of carbon dioxide successfully stored in geological sites all over the world. Atmospheric carbon dioxide capture from direct air capture plants can be permanently stored in oil reservoirs and in depleted oil and gas fields that are no longer productive as they make ideal geological storage sites. And in the next few decades, we are about to manufacture a significant percentage of the world's plastic and building materials out of the air. Injecting carbon dioxide into cement as it is being manufactured strengthens the mixture and produces a far sturdier end product. This process also permanently sequesters CO2 into the cement. But beyond earthbound utility, direct air capture could hold countless vital applications in extraplanetary ventures. The atmosphere of Mars is almost full of carbon dioxide which makes it an ideal target for direct air capture. Producing various products on the planet such as fuel and food could help establish a society on Mars.